In this video I'm going to uh, give a description and theory of operation of the voltage transformer used on the uh, early model Mercedes V12 ignition system. So this unit uh, which is the voltage transformer sits uh, center top on the engine uh, the connector on the unit which is a 16 pin connector is the identical connector that's used on the two call packs so you have three identical connectors of course the pinouts are different but uh, this connector is pretty much universal in the ignition system so both coil packs and the voltage transformer use the same exact connector uh, this voltage transformer has uh, two banks left and right bank and it outputs 180 volts for the left bank the right bank 23 volts for the left bank and right bank and 12 volts for the left bank and the right bank it also provides ground to both coil packs so there is no ground wire feeding this unit uh, it picks up ground via the bolts where it's bolted to the engine so it picks up literally picks up the ground right off the engine itself so um, during any testing using the tester that I developed there is a ground that we're providing when we hook up to do bench testing so this is absolutely critical that this is connected and connected properly to the unit uh, so again we're providing ground to the uh, to the casing of the voltage transformer and that ground in turn is sent out through the wiring to the coil pack that you're testing. Uh, the voltage transformer um, is load sensitive so if there's any short circuits in the coil pack it will shut down. Uh, that could be a short when you initially turn on and it can also be a short uh, when you fire a coil so you if you trigger a coil and there's a short in either um, a MOSFET or the coil itself the unit will shut down and that'll be indicated on the display of the unit that's why this is actually here so you can monitor that the unit that the the voltage transformer is outputting the high voltage so again high voltage being 180 volts uh, the 180 volts is the pri is the primary voltage to the coils. The 23 volts is used on the ionic feedback uh, to give the uh, the DME information on how the fuel's burning, whether the cylinder's firing correctly. So this is how misfire is detected via the ionic feedback. So again, we have a left and a right bank on this coil pack. Um, or a voltage transformer. So in the instructions, uh, I you can test either the left or the right bank of the voltage transformer, and we have here a pinout for the left bank and a pinout for the right bank. So I've used letters on the wiring um, in order to not get mixed up with numbers, so we have A, B, C, D, and E, and these will be connected to the pins according to uh, the pinouts that I've provided. So there's also a chart which is basically the same thing. You have the left and the right, and you will correlate A, B, C, D, and E to the correct pins and the pinout information there's more information in here which will reference which pins are which but it's actually denoted in both of these illustrations you can see the pinout we're uh, mentioning the top of the connector and one through eight and then nine through sixteen um, so again we have actually th there's three separate outputs and that's multiplied times two. Left bank and right bank are both receiving 12 volts, 23 volts, and 180 volts. So during testing, if you connect and you're not reading any voltage when you power on, then you can go to the other side because this can fail on one side. You can lose 
one side of this transformer and the other side will continue to work. Um, so the unit that I've developed can be used not only for checking your coil packs, but you can verify that this voltage transformer is working correctly. So if you connect to the left bank and you're not reading any voltage, then you can connect to the right bank and you can test it also. And this can be done independently. So if you hook up your, your tester and you connect uh, to the coil pack, which this is the other pigtail that goes to the coil pack. If you've got coil pack hooked up and the voltage transformer hooked up and you turn everything on and you've got zero on your display, you're not showing the 180 volts, uh, this could be a short in the coil pack or it could be a defective voltage transformer. So the way you figure that out is you would actually unplug the coil pack and leave the voltage transformer plugged in just by itself and you would be able to see is this actually outputting the high voltage that you need to operate the system. So there will be some more videos up and coming on connecting the coil pack itself and also videos on the uh, operation of the whole system.